a lot of primary school maths, they have questions like this about nets of cubes and maybe even other polyhedra. So the question is, which of these nets will not form a cube? Kind of different yeah. kinds of learners can learn in different ways. My younger son happens to be a kinesthetic learner. He learns best when he gets his hands on things and actually starts doing stuff with his hands. So I'm going to show you how he's using a fantastic toy called Clico to try to solve this problem. And you have these plastic squares and plastic joints. And so what he's going to do, he's going to make these nets. Make the nets one by one and see which ones actually make cubes. Plastic edge pieces join the faces together and then they can fold up. They're very flexible. And if he wanted to make a solid cube, he'd get more joiners. All right. So does the first one make a net? Yes. Try the second one. Pieces are just as easy to snap apart. This is the one he thought wouldn't form a net. Does it form a net? It does. That folds up beautifully into a cube. So try the third one now. You can get Clico and similar toys from Amazon.com. I've got some links showing on the screen right now follow. Now this is a great toy. My son has fun with it. I bought it before either of my kids were born. And it's, it's great for teaching this kind of geometry, the kind of geometry you can get out of regular figures, as you can see. You'll need another joiner for that. Just grab one that you already have. staircase makes a net. Can you just look at the picture and imagine it folding? Yes. Okay, try the fourth picture. And what about this? Does this fold up? Does this make a net of a cube? It doesn't, does it? set comes with dozens of squares and triangles, even some pentagons and hexagons, so that your so that your kid can make all kinds of different things. If you really like, if you really want to teach them about regular figures, or just let them play with them, Kiko's an excellent toy for this kind of thing. 